And we kick our World Cup journey off on the 16th. Our World Cup starts on the 16th. That, or at least that, like, that's when our World Cup starts. Okay, so U.S. We've got three tactics that we want to mess with. All right, let's go um, full first team here. Okay, I wanna I wanna beat Ivory Coast today, man. First World Cup tune up. We've got two World Cup friendlies to get ourselves ready. We are the number five team in the world. Dang it. We need to be winning this game. The Pulisic come out of retirement. Yes, so did Chris Richards and Cameron Carter Vickers, which is awesome. That's really appreciated. But I yeah, we play Cameroon, so Ivory Coast, good comp for that. And then we play Poland, so Croatia's a good comp for that. Yeah, I mean, we we would normally sub out like Dest and Robinson. They're not playing particularly well. But um, we want them to get match sharpness so that they can play better when we get to the World Cup. That's basically it. We're accumulating that match sharpness. We'd love to win the game. Tinkering with tactics and you know, different adjustments we can make. Trying out kind of different looks. And All right, World Cup tune-up. We have lost 1-0 um, to Ivory Coast. We've got one more tune-up left. We don't want anybody that has full match sharpness to be in the team today. We want this match to be played by guys that are accumulating sharpness, including Gio Reyna. Okay. Croatia, here we go, lads. Here we go. Albania didn't make the Euros again, did it? Did it? For some reason, I have a weird feeling they're at the Euros again. For a second time. They did. Nice. That'll be fun. Oh, God. It's a Polisics Croatian, dude. If Polisics Croatian, then I'm Canadian. And at that point, I might just need to pack it in, you know? Hey! Dude, what? The bottom thing said that looked a contentious decision at the very least. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, I mean, we, we just worked a lot on our match sharpness, obviously. We were getting a lot of our best players sharp, so... That's a bitter pill to swallow. They had four shots in the whole game. One was a penalty that the game called a like an incredibly harsh decision, and they just had that floated cross that Musa won. Um, I'm gonna go with unlucky boys and let's forget about those two games. Let's forget about those two games. We've got a world cup that starts in nine days. Just forget about it. All right. The world cup's kicking off Turkey, Ecuador, Egypt, Ukraine, Suriname, Ghana, Italy, Japan, Senegal, Croatia, Syria, Uruguay. Let's get it, man. Uh, whoa, baby. Now I don't look too bad, do I? Ivory Coast has beaten Germany 2-0 to open the World Cup. France beat Chile uh, 3-0. Oh, yikes. Belgium down there at the bottom. But France handles Chile with three goals, uh, 45th minute on. And that means we're up. We're the second match of the day. So <laughs> what's up? How you guys doing? Oh, Anthony Robinson's potentially moving to Austria, Vienna, end of contract. Sick. I actually am going to go with Lund. Christopher Lund. He's match sharp. He's ready to go. He's not played a lot for the U.S., but he's my starting left back for this tournament. Gosh darn tootin' dang it. That is my starting left back for this tournament. All right, let's win this match. Let's win this match. They've got Joe Bell. I literally went to college with Joe Bell. We can do this. They have Joaquin Liber Liberato Cacace. I, and that's not a joke. I went to college with Joe Bell. He went to the University of Virginia, was there the same time I was there. I used to announce his soccer uh, matches for uh, UVA. All right, we got to turn the America up a little bit. We got to turn the America up a little bit. Because, lads, it's the U.S. Golden Generation at a World Cup. All right. This is what, this is what it's all about. And I, I need so much America. America, come on, boys. Let's go get it. World Cup time. Saddle up. Love the highlights we're getting. Love the incredible. Oh, it's Richards! Ah! Goal! America, baby! Que 
golazo de Chris Richards! ¡Vamos! Oh, what a goal to greet the skis for the United States, Chris Richards. With an absolutely thunderous strike, and it's the center back, and now it's Gio Reyna. He's just put the ball over for the United States. He is off and running at World Cup 2030 here in Turkey. Oh, out to Christian Pulisic. McKinney. And pull a guard. Lined. Richards, oh, it's two for Chris Richards. What a World Cup start for Chris Richards and the Americans. Roll Tide. Oh, no shot. Booth. I don't give a piss about nothing but the Tide. <laughs> I love that video. No, oh, things are going well. Let's go. All right. Now, here we go. Ricky Pooge, Cameron Carter Vickers, the man of the hour who has both goals, Chris Richards, Joe Scally. He might be on. Uh, he is. Okay. Nice wall pass into the goal, Taylor Booth. The good play. All right. For Lady Liberty. Yeah, I thought he was offside, but all right. Taylor freaking Booth. We'll take it. <laughs> Keep Booth away from Abraham Lincoln too soon. Oh, my God. Hey, Joe, long time no see. Could you not, please? All right, the Ricky Pooch. DK lets it run. Musa Tillman. How did we not score there? Put your foot through the ball. I mean, they've scored two unbelievable goals, guys. We're, we're not getting, like, shredded defensively here. They've scored two brilliant goals. I mean, that's a stupid... Uh, Brady's... Chris Brady, I don't know what's going on back there, but this was a very comfy match until about five seconds ago. Oh, goodness. Okay, we won. We won. What happened? Dude, they scored two amazing goals, but we conceded 0.32 XG. I would have shaken your hand off for that at the start of the game. We didn't play well, but I'm happy with the result. Amen. Okay. Oh, Uzbekistan! Oh, what an effort from the Uzbeks! What an effort from the Uzbeks! Oh, Brazil got tied up twice after taking the lead twice. Yakshabayev. Yasur Yakshabayev of LAFC. So is our boy, Sergio Luis, the guy we tried to sign. Oh, I'm so mad he's not on our team. Sweden, 1-3-1 over Mali. England and Mexico handled their business in their group. Couple for Saka, one for Rashford. Aston Villa just made an offer for Lee Kong in of $27 million with eventual $42 million in fees. I'm going to shoot for 50 Uh, yeah, he's pretty good, but th this is a solid offer for a guy we don't want that did not like us. Aston Villa can hammer out a contract with Lee kong -in all they want. He's also making 11 million a year base salary. All right, we got a match. No kidding. Fitness is very important for us, especially at the center back positions where there isn't as much of a drop off. What we really want is like a Gio Reyna, Christian Pulisic two touch. Uh, so we're going to start. Reyna and Pulisic. Reyna's going to go 60. Pulisic could go the whole match if we need it. You listen to me, team! You listen to me! A win gets us in the next round. Come on, boys! Come on, boys! Take care of business today.
USA Poland match day two for the first match of the day Cameroon and New Zealand have not played yet so the win puts us top of the live table Johnny Reyna play the wing yes it's Kolyosho it's still Kolyosho it's Reyna it has to be and it is the opening goal For the United States of America, it's Gio Reyna. Pulisic. Oh, the soul! He smokes! Good. We're forcing slides off the ball so they can't half space us to death here. Mikhail Kerbovnik commence. Oh, my goodness. That was Otisoe. Otisoe got destroyed by Sebastian Shemansky there. Nice, Anthony. Good. Get us halftime. Okay. We're winning. I'm happy. I, we, we gave them their best chance of the whole match, though, right before that half there. I don't know, man. We're really keeping them in their half of the field, though. Pooge. Oh, please, Tillman. We'll stay forward. We'll stay forward. It's Malik Tillman. Hey, we're going all the way. I told you, you know, we show up at the World Cup. We're the fifth-ranked team in the world. We've got to believe that we can back that up. We're the fifth-ranked team in the world right now. At the peak of the U.S. golden generation, we got to believe we can back it up. And right now, two wins from two. Better team in both matches. That is an incredible time for him to blow the whistle. We're doing what we need to do thus far. We're doing what we need to do thus far. We've won our first two matches. We are guaranteed to go through to the next round now based off those two results. England beat Cape Verde 2-0. Rashford with a 94th minute pin. Mountain scored in the 10th. Santhi. Uzbekistan! The Uzbeks! They've beaten Sweden and come from behind fashion. It's World Cup magic. Oh, yeah, I have the freaking Super Cup. I forgot about that. I play PSG in the UEFA Super Cup. I guess they won the uh, Champions League. Cool. Oh, we got Kazuma Kanda. We just bullied PSG to get Japanese Wonder Kid striker Kazuma Kanda. That is wonderful. King Kazu, King Kazuma Kanda, will be joining for five and a half million dollars. Ah, oh, Suriname caught the hands from Italy. Oh, huge get chat, massive, ch oh, massive get chat. All right, we're the first, uh, we're the first match day. Cameroon, U.S., Poland, New Zealand. We'll keep an eye on what's happening in the other match. Obviously, Pooj is man down, you know. All right, if we win this match, we win the group. A draw in Cameroon wins the gulp. Uh, wins the group. Here we go, boys. It's World Cup time. Match day three. It's actually like the lowest pressure World Cup match you can play because we are already through. Guaranteed. Oh, you. He's onside, too, for sure. All the highlights are Cameroon, dude. This was the first highlight of the match. I'm uh, like, uh, that's not even me being facetious. This is literally the first highlight of the entire match. I do like the size of the fullbacks in the U.S. pools. Great. Very tall fullbacks. They can win those headers. They can win the back post headers very well. Musa. Oh, he's on. Yes! It's in Dejas. It's Alejandro Zindeas. He barely made it into the World Cup team. It was a gut decision by the manager, Zeeland Shannon, and he scored a World Cup goal. Zindeas makes it 1-1. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Let's win the group. 90th minute. Lund. Oh, he missed him. Oh, dude, that was a pretty simple pass. Oh, my goodness. Scali. Zindeas. The speed of Kolyosho. Zendejas, it's Alejandro Zendejas again! Unbelievable! You couldn't have written this script! The last man picked for the team has scored a scorching winner! 
to win the group for the United States. Pure gut feeling that Zendejas was going to be the guy that was going to help us the most. And he's got a brace against Cameroon to potentially win the group. Unbelievable for Alejandro Zendejas. Almost never in the U.S. national team picture Zendejas. Almost never. I haven't called. This is the first time I've ever called him up. It was for the World Cup. We won the group. We won all three. What a match. Alejandro Zendejas. What a win. What a group win. Poland is through with a 5-1 win over New Zealand. They have scored enough goals. They are through, and Poland will be in the knockouts. The United States, supposed to be the group winner on world ranking. We are the group winner. Cape Verde beat Iran by a goal. That is going to make things very... No, Uzbekistan, no. No. Oh, and Sweden beat Brazil. Oh, it's Uzbekistan's worst nightmare. No. Uzbekistan's through. Oh, Uzbekistan has more, go more goals for than Mali and South Korea. If they'd given up one more goal, they would have been out. Uzbekistan is in the World Cup knockouts. Brazil is second. Sweden wins the group after losing to Uzbekistan. We dropped to sixth in the world, which is fair. We did, you know, lose friendlies, but... We've also won our World Cup group, so eat your heart out. All right, the league is... Oh, sick. If I make the round of 16, I play Tunisia or Ireland. Dude, f*** that, man. What <laughs> the hell? Hi, YouTube. We're in the knockouts. Welcome to the stream. I'm uh, sorry you couldn't be here in person, obviously. So is everybody here. Uh, we're all sorry they couldn't be here in person. Tell them we're sorry they couldn't be here in person, Chad. Thank you. <clears throat> See, they're all sorry they could, you couldn't be here. Uh, uh, all of them. Seriously, they're all right there. I forgot what direction it was. Hopefully, we're about to go win the World Cup. You ready? It was 7-1 Brazil. Okay, that's enough of you guys. Goodness. All right, Lee Kong in for $52 million. Are we taking that? Are we taking this? Because there is Saudi interest in him. Then maybe we could get more money. Yeah, but I can't ask for freaking revenue retention, man. I'm delaying it at least. We're delaying it at least because I want to delay it until I can ask for revenue retention. Croatia with a 3-1 win over Colombia, who fell off hard after winning their first two matches. Uh, you know, a standing ovation to Uzbekistan. Standing ovation to Uzbekistan for making the knockouts at their inaugural World Cup. The respectable 3-0 loss to France. They played a real competitive tournament. They only lost to Brazil by a goal in the groups. Oh, we're the first match of the day, so I can't even enjoy watching any more World Cup knockouts. All right, Carter Vickers and Richards are in as the center backs. So it's Brady, Das, Richards, Carter Vickers, Lund, Musa, not Musa, Adams, Reyna, McKinney, Booth, Pulisic, Belogan. For the U.S. Yeah, get a foot in. Ref, that's fine. What are you doing, ref? Game's gone. Game's gone. I didn't know the U.S. needed to show Brazil how to play proper football. Good save, Brady. All right, out of there. Booth, there's nobody there. Belogan was back on defense. Okay. Shape. Calma, shape. Oh, uh, no, you lied. I told you to freaking mark that guy. I had it set. Oh, my goodness. Dest. What a play by Serginho Dest. Pulisic. Falorin Belogan's in. We are in this game. We have 61% possession. We both had one good chance. We just missed ours. Keep those heads up. Keep playing. Gave that up a little too easily. Oh, Mike. Man, they have got some cheap nonsense. Come on, boys. Got to do something special now. We'll remember this forever if we pull this off. We have been in this game. We are unlucky to be behind 2-0. Show it. 
freaking show it. DK, yeah, it's hard to beat Allison from there. That's an unbelievable tackle by Chris Richards, and we're going to get scored on anyways. Oh, Brady got a cross. Nice block. Chris Richards with some Herculean defending there. All right, let's see if we can put these passes together. Good show by Adams. Oh, my goodness. What a what a show by DK. Oh, it is. It's there. Daryl DK stirring the drink right now. Lund with the overlap. Lund. Oh, Polisic! Come on! Come on! Give me more! I want more! Oh, goodness. What do we... What else do we need? Uh, quick, what's the most American song you can, uh, what, what is the most American song you can think of, chat? Most American song you can think of. That's not it. Country Roads, got it. Country Roads. Take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia. Mountains, mama, take me home, country roads. Never give up. We never give up. It was always there. It's Polisic and Gio Reyna that bring us back. All right, we need the next song. That was, by the way, guys, that's one of the most special moments I've ever had on stream. Thank you for being here. I cannot believe we just did that. We just scored two goals to come back from down 2 nothing against Brazil in the World Cup knockouts with the U.S. Colio shows fresh. He's the fastest guy we've got. Oh, Zendejas, what a ball. Polisic, may I have this dance? It's Gio Reyna! Oh! Oh, we are going to pins against Brazil in the World Cup knockouts. It's absolutely unbelievable that we have been able to get this to penalties. Absolutely insane. Daryl DK against Allison Becker, who's retiring after the tournament. Oh, what a pen! What a pen by big Daryl DK! Jean Pedro against Chris Brady. All right, 1-1. One, one. Gio Reyna, the scorer of the historic 90-second minute goal for the U.S. to send it to extra time. Oh, brilliant pen. Sent him the wrong way. Gabriel Jesus against Chris Brady of Bayern Munich. <sighs> Squeezes it in. 2-2. Two, two. Christian Pulisic, Captain America, who started the comeback. <sighs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eder Militao for Brazil against Chris Brady. Oh, he saves it. Yes. Eunice Musa for the United States against Allison. Oh. oh, right down the middle. Zendejas, the World Cup hero, with a banger of a pen. Sangalo against Chris freaking Brady. Oh! <laughs> Left back Christopher Lund, who's had an unbelievable match, who has risen to the World Cup occasion, and he does again. With a save, America wins. Marquinhos against Chris Brady, the legendary Brazilian center back. Against the American from Chi Town. It's saved! They've done it! We've beaten Brazil at the World Cup! It's Chris Brady! From 2 0 down, you will never see anything like this ever again! Unbelievable match. One of the biggest accomplishments I've ever had on Football Manager. We've beaten Brazil in the World Cup knockouts with the United States. And a two-goal comeback led by Pulisic and Reyna. All right, it's Ireland. They won. They beat Tunisia 3-0. So Ireland, not easy by any means, but also not Brazil. Your last 16 at the World Cup.
Senegal versus the Netherlands, Croatia and France, England, Spain, U.S. and Ireland. Hell yeah. I can't wait for that quarterfinal if we can get there. Norway, Italy, Japan, Canada, Argentina, Sweden, Portugal, Mexico. Oh, that's a big bet. It's uh, Sorry, yeah, it's behind my head. If he plays 25 matches, it's uh, 48 and a half up front and then 44 in installments. I'll leave everything open so they can negotiate. Oh, dude, they just took 15. So you can do that if you ever want to do that in your save. Uh, now it's just 15 matches played at Atalanta, which I feel very good that Hawk and Arner Haraldson will play 15 matches. It's World Cup time. Round of 16 after beating Brazil to get the United States to a World Cup quarterfinal for just the second time. Well, the third time if you count 1930, whatever. That's our team. That's our team. Ricky Pudge starts the match today. Don't worry. He's only playing the first half. Then we've got Gio Reyna. Have no fear. This is just the way we have to line up. Playing my backup goalkeeper, actually. Let's go, boys. Come on. All right, Adams, let's go. McKinney. Oh, he's got Taylor Booth who's in. Oh, yes. It's Taylor Booth for the United States. That's what we wanted. We don't have to come out of this tactic now. We wanted to be able to score out of it. Now we get a set piece. Oh, my God. I'm making that sub because I figure if they do score, we can get it to extra time and then bring in Reyna with the extra sub after that. Nice play by Richards. Nice play by Johnny. Really tough defending going on here. DK doing his thing with the hold up play. DK. Oh my God, it's What a save by Kelleher. Uh, oh, he got destroyed. Scally. Johnny, what a tackle. And the United States are going to the World Cup quarterfinals with a 1-0 win in a near-run thing with Ireland in the round of 16. They've beaten Brazil. They've beaten Ireland. There are eight teams left in the United States for the third time in its history is one of those eight teams. It's England. We already knew it was England if we won. And it is England in the World Cup quarterfinal. The World Cup quarterfinals are Netherlands, France, England, U.S., Italy, Japan, Argentina, Portugal. All right, Lee Kong in going to Aston Villa. Done and dusted, a guy that we, uh, okay, whatever. I think we saved Pulisic. I think we saved Pulisic. He cannot go a full 90 at that level. So we're going Tillman, Colioso, Bulligan, Musa, Johnny, Reyna, Lund, Carter, Vickers, Otisoe, Dest, Brady. Oh, let's go, dude. Let's go. USA England World Cup quarterfinal. We have earned. We have earned our place here. We have earned it. Defend with everything you got. We got big guys out there. Ooh, we can't be giving Mason Mount that header. Come on. Yeah, come on. That's what I'm freaking talking about, dude. Good block. There we go, Christopher Lund. That's ours, Johnny. Oh, where's DK, dude? He's like lumbering around all the way back here. You gotta be up there. Oh, no, he's off. No. A horror tackle by Christopher Lund. It's gonna make life very difficult here. Oh, uh, yeah. The longer we get through this, the more nervous they're gonna get about it. So, come on. Encouragement from the bench. We just got a red card in the World Cup quarterfinal. A friggin' straight red for Christopher Lund against England which means this is now when we score. Musa. Keep it moving. No, look at that wide area. Das could do something crazy. He has that in his bag. Oh, Colio. Luca Coli. Colio show. Colio show. It's a set piece. It's a set piece. A good spot for us. Come on. Oh, nice, Adams. Just make life as difficult as you can. There you go. That's not an easy shot. Just make life as difficult as you can. They start rushing it. They start forcing those shots. Make them sweat. That counter is there. We saw it with Geo on that play. We saw it. That counter is there. The counter is there. Oh. Well, there's a highlight. Let's go. 
That's to McKinney. What are you doing? Oh, that's our ball. No, to Zoe. Oh, great tackle. It is actually our ball. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, and it is Dest, you freaking. What is even going on? I Whose highlight? Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Reyna. Gio Reyna dropping in. He's got Dest. Finds him. Adams. McKinney. He's got Polisic. Polisic's going for DK. Wow, that, I mean, it's not the best chance, but we actually created a chance. Really kicked off, man. After that, yeah, red card, we... It was always going to be a super uphill battle once Lund got sent off. Uh, we were stuck into it for a long time. Obviously, the second goal happens because we're pushing so much, but that first goal really hurt. <sighs> we didn't do enough. I mean, it was a magic run. Obviously, beating Brazil in the knockouts is insane. We got the U.S. the quarterfinal for just the third time ever.